Welcome back to The Real Story. In appeals court, ruling against President Obama's immigration plan, the initiative to protect an estimated 5 million undocumented immigrants from deportation declared unconstitutional. The Department of Justice now appealing that decision to the Supreme Court. More on this now with Texas Congressman Jeb Henserling. He's the chair of the House Financial Services Committee and my guest in studio today. Great to have you here, Congressman. Listen, thanks for having me, Greg. All right, so the Fifth Circuit says no way to President Obama's plan. It's going to go to the Supreme Court. What do you make of it? Well, I think undoubtedly it probably will go to the Supreme Court, but at least for the moment, it's a good day for legal immigration, bad day for illegal immigration, good day for the Constitution and rule of law, a bad day for the imperial presidency, so and thus a bad day for Barack Obama. Mm -hmm. So, uh, as we all know, illegal immigration is a huge threat to our national security, it's a huge threat to our economic security, and the way the president practices it, it's a threat to the rule of law. And so what the Fifth Circuit said is, no. No, there is a constitution, there are checks and balances, and you cannot rewrite the law. Essentially what the president did is he managed to persuade the Fifth Circuit that he could didn't lawfully that he could not lawfully do this. Apparently he didn't convince himself because as we know on right. at least twenty previous occasions the president indicated he didn't have the power to do what he's doing. Well guess what? Uh, the White House press briefing just happened and Josh Ernest, his spokesperson, said that the uh, White House is considering implementing executive order on immigration now. What would you say to that? Well we know this is a president who has a pen and a phone. Regrettably he just seems to lack a copy of the Constitution. I mean the Fifth Circuit could be could be no more clear on their injunction. So I don't know what executive order that the president is planning. We know this has been the most lawless administration since the Nixon administration. Okay. But particularly with the American people, I would hope they would be outraged. Well, so we're looking at pictures behind us here. This is from your border trip. I mean, you're from Texas, but you went down to the Texas-Mexico border uh, in July. What did you find out there? Well, what I found out is, is that, again, the Obama administration is a huge impediment to enforcing our laws. I mean, the greatest impediment we have is that the Obama administration will not allow our Border Patrol to actually have access to many federal lands where the uh, illegal immigrants and the human traffickers uh, do their business. And so uh, we know that also that there are, are, are people from all around the, the world, including nations, uh, where we know that there has been terrorist activity who are infiltrating our southern border. It's not just Mexico and Central America. It's a huge problem, something that the administration continues to turn their back on, well, and they actually foam in it. They may take focus on it now and uh, issue another executive order. We will have to stay tuned on that and wait for what the Supreme Court decides. Great to see you, Congressman. Thank you.